Say hi. Yo, what up, y'all? What's up, man? Been looking good in all the interviews and stuff. Yeah? Yeah, your face looks a little bit different than the last time, huh? Yeah. What interviews are you talking about? Just the pictures that Brian's been posting. You guys work oh, out okay. and stuff. How is it there? Uh, it's just not like any other dirty city. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't Spartanburg, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, we're just going to do this interview to let the fans and everybody know what's going on. I know your dad's getting together a pretty big group to watch you and everything like that. And I know you've been waiting a long time to do this. So let's talk about you know your preparation. Uh, the Revolution Gym. Anybody that you want to say hi to or anything? Because I'm going to post it on the page. Hmm. So are you going to ask questions or what? I mean, I can. How do you want to do it? I mean, it would probably be easier if you just if we just talk. Well, where are you at right now, Justin? And who are you with? Uh, I'm in Sao Paulo, Brazil. We're staying at the Renaissance Hotel. I'm with Coach Brian Harper. And... We are out here getting ready to beat up a local boy. A local boy, huh? Who's your opponent? My opponent is Pedro Munoz. This will be my first fight at Bantamweight, and I feel amazing. I'm ready to go in there and uh, beat the crap out of this dude. Yeah. How, uh, how'd your training camp go and, and your preparation? You know, Talk a little bit about that and, and the lead up to it. Uh, training camp went really good. Uh, this is the first training camp that uh, that I've worked with uh, Brian in. He, he's a new coach at Revolution, and you know we, we really got things. I feel like worked out really good. I feel like things are things are clicking really well with everybody in the gym. Uh, you know, I had uh, a lot of a lot of tough guys in there. A lot of my teammates, you know, really tough guys that are up and comers that are helping me get ready for this fight. And I feel super confident, and I'm you know I'm just ready to bring home a win for myself, but also for all my teammates that. Uh, I've had to take some abuse getting me ready for it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a couple of black guys at the gym lately. Um, <laughs> talk about the the move from 125 up to the next weight class and, and how you're feeling and, and how you think that decision's going. Oh, dude, I feel awesome. Uh, you know, one, the biggest thing that I've noticed is like this week, you know, we, the fight week leading up to it is – my, my focus is all on the fight. My focus is all on battle. My focus isn't on something like, you know, how, how much sodium I've taken in a day or how much more I have to go sweat or anything like that. Like, I'm completely focused on battle. You know, I've, I've been doing this since I was three years old. And, you know, coming up, like, we just, you know, we signed up for tournaments and we went and fought. We didn't care what weight it was. We didn't care, you know, who it was. We just trusted our skills and we went and did it, you know. And, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that you know what I what I do will you know kind of set a precedent for other fighters you know and guys will start you know competing at a more natural weight and you know realize that it's it's not about being the biggest guy in the smallest division it's about sharpening your skills the best and being the best martial artist that you can be because that's what martial arts was you know in my opinion that's why martial arts was invented it wasn't invented to go beat up somebody smaller than you that's being a bully you know what I mean martial arts was invented you know, to, to be able to ma manipulate somebody else that's uh, bigger than you, you know, trying to take advantage of you. So now I feel like, you know, I get to be the guy that kind of comes in here and uh, takes out the bullies. Nice. You know, yeah, I can I can definitely say since I uh, got to witness, you know, some of the first cuts to 125 way back in the day at the at the limestone room and, and you and Sarah McMahon kind of in the locker room and fighting over whether or not you're going one more go in there or not and you know, the way you looked, you know, I, I can definitely say that uh, the smiling, happy, likes to have a good time little kid Justin has been around a lot more this week leading up in comparison to some of those other other uh, weight cuts, you know, and I, like you said, it's more about, I guess, concentrating on, on being at your optimal performance and being the best mixed martial artist, and I, I can see that definitely in you. Um, you got you to gotta enjoy what you're doing, dude. I mean, if you're in there and, you know, and, and there's a, dude, if, if you're cutting a lot of weight, and guys that do cut a lot of weight will understand this. It becomes your training camp. It becomes everything, you know what I mean? And, like, you don't even really think about the fight. All you're worried about is cutting weight and making weight. And then fight day comes, and you're like, oh, shit, I still have to fight. You know, so, I, like, to me, this is art. I'm an artist. And, uh, 
you know, I know it, it might sound almost like a little self-centered, but I'm going to do my art my way. I don't care if everybody else is cutting weight. You know, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to make sure I enjoy it, and uh, I'm going to paint my picture the way I want to paint it. Nice. What uh, what can we expect to see, or what do you want fans to look forward to tomorrow night, or uh, two nights from now? Say that again. I said, what it, what can you tell fans to look forward to? You know, what 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 do you say to them to tell them that they need to you know tune in and watch you and and watch you put on a show? Like, what what can they expect? Well, I mean, you know, when I when I go out there, I go out there and I put on uh, really good, not just good striking performances, but I feel like I put on overall good martial arts performances. Uh, I, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to show every aspect of my game. I'm going to stuff shots. If there's takedowns there, I'm going to slam them on his head. If the submission's there, I'll grab a submission and I'll tap him out. But uh, I'm going in there and I'm looking to put paws on him. I'm looking to, you know, knock this dude out. So, you know, I, I'm... I'm Looking to really go out there and put on a show for everybody, and you know, finally, I feel like I'm in a position to go out there and show everybody where I'm at when I'm 100%. Well, I'm I'm gonna post this so that the the Revolution fans and everybody in the Upstate area can kind of see and get an insight into you. you. Got anybody you wanna give a shout out to or anything you wanna say to anybody before we end? Well, uh, of course, I wanna you know I wanna thank all my teammates at Revolution. I can't wait to get back and see you guys. Uh, you know, I want to say thank you to my family. Uh, my family's been, you know, my mom, my dad, my brothers and sister. This has been a shared dream of all of us since I was really little. And, uh, you know, it, it means a lot to have their support and their continued support. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I can uh, go out there and put on a show for everybody. And I'm going to come back with a win. And I just love all you guys a lot. I love everybody that shows me the support. And I can't wait to see everybody when I get back to the greatest country in the world. All right, thanks a lot for taking the time to, to do this interview with us, Justin. I appreciate it. Heck yeah. Talk to you later, buddy. Peace.